Hi, everybody. I'm Peter Clausey, and welcome back to Investor Intel for a very special performance. Today is not about a company. Today is not about mining or rare earths or high tech or COVID. Instead, something happy to talk about with Colin Lynch. Hi, Colin. Hi, Peter. Thanks for coming in. Today, we're talking about the Black Opportunity Fund. Please tell us what that is. It's an initiative to provide sustainable, supportable, long-term funding to businesses and entrepreneurs and to charities and nonprofits right across Canada to help them do what they would like to do, but even better by providing them with that tool, with that support, with that financial capacity to build uh, Canada so that we all succeed. That's such a fantastic paragraph. There's, there aren't enough charities aimed at doing this kind of work. So why do you think we need this fund? Well, there's a lot of stats and those stats have shown that uh, whether you look at uh, black uh, entrepreneurs that have been chronically underfunded from an equity sort of venture capital perspective or from a debt a lending perspective, whether you look at education rates and you disaggregate that and you look at the propensity of individuals to be educated is actually highest according to Stats Canada in the black community, but the propensity of, of individuals that believe that they will get educated, for instance, at the university level is the lowest. And so there's a gap there and we there's want to no sort hope. of help that. Exactly. And you can go on and look at so many verticals, whether it's healthcare outcomes or whether it's uh, ability for, for entrepreneurs to scale up or ability for entrepreneurs to receive the capital they're looking for. Right. All of them put, point to need. And what we're just trying to do is provide one tool uh, to help solve some of those problems. How long have you been around? We've been around since uh, formally for two years now. Uh, we became a registered charity uh, late last year. Um, I began uh, the conversations uh, with some peers on the Black Opportunity Fund in 2019. Uh, so early in our journey, and we've been really, really working hard. How, how are you funded? Well, we are funded today uh, largely through uh, contributions from corporations such as TD made a big announcement, but there is also other banks like CIBC and National Bank and other about 40 corporations so far have, have come to the plate. Uh, we also have had uh, contributions for individuals, but that being said, we're early. Um, the right. federal government announced a $200 million philanthropic endowment fund, and we're certainly going to be applying as part of that process to receive some of those funds. And we think overall in the long term we'll have funding from three sources, uh, individuals and families, corporations, and government. Why whole of Canada problem needs a whole of Canada solution? No, global problem, but let's focus on Canada for now. Uh, so individuals get a tax slip? Yes. And since you're a registered charity, you have audited financial statements? Correct. Exactly. And, and the governance is super important. Um, you're talking to the right guy. Um, how do you find opportunities in which to invest? Yeah, we have had a lot of opportunities come to us from a couple a couple reasons why we've generated a lot of opportunities. One is that we have had town halls and we've had multiple town halls. As an example, our business town hall has had over a thousand participants um, in and those town halls. Yes, they surface issues. They surface potential solutions. And when we design the Black Opportunity Fund in terms of how we receive application, evaluate applications and provide capital, we use the feedback from those town halls. And I just point to the business one, but we've had ones focused on a lot of other areas as well, healthcare, education, arts, uh, criminal justice, et cetera. So that really helps and helps us get the word out to the community. How do you drive and traffic to the town halls? Well, we, we use, whether it's social media, uh, we use, there's, there's a ton of word of mouth and there's a lot of excitement um, about, about that. We have uh, over 250 volunteers from across the country uh, and they help to sort of drive uh, town halls. And then um, as organizations have, uh, have come to support the Black Opportunity Fund, word about the Black Opportunity Fund filters through those organizations. As an example, earlier this morning, I talked with somebody in TD who's in one of the branches that said, we need to hear more about this. We, we need to tell our clients and our entrepreneurs about this information. How do we get more information about the BOF out? So we're still in that journey. And I think, right. you know, as more people learn about the fund, we'll get, you know, we'll get the word out even further and we'll have further interest in uh, receiving help. Now you'd think that you could leverage the bank's infrastructure to communicate with some of the bank's clients 
who are uh, borrowing from the bank to get them some equity so they can grow. Exactly, exactly. And that's, that's, that's exactly what we're working on right now. And, and as you know, with, with large organizations, it's easier said than done, but there's a huge opportunity. And so we're, we're working on that right now. Good. Well, I wish you all the success in the world. Um, once we're offline, I'll give you a few leads to follow up on. It's wonderful to meet you. And I'm looking forward to following your story. Well, thanks for having me here. So this is Colin Lynch from the Black Opportunity Fund, funded in part by the TD Bank. So thank you, Green. I'm Peter Clausey signing off from Investor Intel with a good news story for the day. Bye, all.